gonna make you a world with these two hands today Put our love, memories and laughs in all that I create Hello crafters! Maureen here from MadeByMarzipan.com Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own chalkboards using cookie sheets and picture frames from the dollar store. What's really unique about these chalkboards is that some of the lines were drawn with a special marker that looks exactly like chalk but is permanent. So I can erase the content of my calendar boxes while leaving the calendar itself. I used Valspar brand spray paints for this project. You'll need Valspar primer for plastic as well as Valspar chalkboard paint. I'll be turning a dollar store picture frame and a cookie sheet into chalkboards. Prep the frame by removing the glass and prep the cookie sheet by covering the edges with painter's tape. Next, lightly spray the surface of your items with the Valspar primer for plastic. I know these items aren't plastic, but this is what Valspar recommends using in conjunction with its chalkboard paint, and it works great. I recommend placing the item inside of a box to keep the spray contained. Remember to do this in a well-ventilated area. Only adults should use spray paint. Allow the primer to dry for 10 minutes, then add a second coat. Allow to dry for another 10 minutes, then add a coat of chalkboard paint. While we're waiting for that to dry, we can start planning the layout for our chalkboards. The cookie sheet will become a menu, and I want a permanent header that says Mom's Kitchen Cafe. Cut a piece of paper to the same width as your chalkboard. Use a pencil to sketch out your design. I don't, 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 don't feel afraid to innovate. Don't, 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 don't miss a chance to be creative. Don't, 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 don't. Try this at home. Try this at home. I'm taking a break from sketching to add a second coat of chalkboard paint. The other chalkboard will become a calendar. This chalkboard is larger than my paper, so I need to tape more than one piece together to fit the frame. I'm writing, every day is a special occasion, at the top of the calendar. Lay your sheet of paper over the dry chalkboard. Trace your design with a pencil, pressing down firmly. It's a little hard to see on camera, but this transfers the outline of your design to the surface of your chalkboard. I want this header to be permanent. I also want the writing to look exactly like chalk. The only product I've found that can do this is the Solid Marker Slim made by Sakura. This marker is so different from anything I've used that it's kind of hard to describe. It's rather soft and a little waxy. The texture is a lot like lipstick. But it's permanent, it won't smudge once dry, and it won't wash off with water and the finish looks identical to chalk, making it perfect for this project. This is a pretty new product, so you might not be able to find it at your local store, but you should be able to purchase it online. Trace the design on your chalkboard. It helps to have good lighting for this, as the transfer design is pretty faint. Use a straight edge to divide the calendar into a grid using the solid marker slim to draw five rows and seven columns. You can make the marker extend higher by twisting the bottom, just like you would with a lipstick. Add the chalkboard to the frame. It helps to prime the chalkboard before you write on it for the first time. Hold a piece of chalk sideways and rub the entire surface of the board. 
Wipe clean with a piece of felt. Now the chalkboard is ready to use. Now I'll make the menu board. Remove the tape from the edges of the cookie sheet. I recommend scoring the tape where it meets the paint using the blade of your scissors. Transfer your design by tracing. Then trace on the chalkboard with the solid marker slim. I'm gonna make you a world with these two hands today. Put a love, memories, and laughs in all that I create. I'm adding a ribbon hanger to the cookie sheet. Cut a piece of wired ribbon and hot glue it in a loop to the back of the cookie sheet. Tie a pretty bow in the center of the loop. You can make quite a few of these chalkboards with these supplies. They make great gifts or items to sell at craft fairs. For more information about the Solid Marker Slim, visit sakuraofamerica.com. Check out my website, madebymarzipan.com, for hundreds more crafting tutorials. Try this at home.